Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Float Fishing Journey. Today I'm over at Quarry. We haven't been here in a while, uh, especially on this account. And I saw a post for uh, whitefish, vendices, things like that, and figured I'd give it a try. Um, it's mainly using bolo rods, and it's mainly using sandwich baits, which we don't have sandwich baits unlocked yet. But figured we'd at least give it a try, and looks like a uh, decent whitefish here right off the start. 9,000 experience points, got us up to 46.4 for our uh, float fishing here. So it's mainly on cockchafers and stonefly larva, larva for baits. Right now I'm using stonefly larva on the hooks. Uh, everything I was seeing was stoneflies and cockchafer sandwich baits, but I don't have the ability to use sandwich baits on this account yet, so doing the best I can and wanted to see if it would work, and obviously right off the bat, decent fish. Uh, they're showing a 1.5 meter depth. Excuse me. I don't know if the telesticks are going to work. I figured I'd throw them out there and see if we get lucky. So they're not, it's a 15 meter clip on the bolo rod. So they're nowhere near as far out as the other rod, but it was worth a try and we'll see what we can get. Uh, the stonefly larva itself was not out there long before it had the bite that we just had on it. So I was pretty happy about that. Definitely love the experience points for that fish. So it's been mainly whitefish, uh, vendices, things like that. I, I'm hoping these tend more to vendices, but we'll see. There's a 69 gram vendus, a little bit on the small side, but it's a fish. I'll take it. I expect the vendices will be a little bit closer to land than the whitefish will. So we'll see. Getting another bolo bite. We've got 1.5 meters on the bolo, 1.5 meters on wad, on rod one over there. Wad one, rod one, and 1.25 over on rod two. Probably another Vendus. Small fish, whatever it is. Yep, another small Vendy. I am using I got a variety of hooks just because I didn't have a whole lot of the same hooks for this size. So I'm using a size 14 on that one, size 14 on this one, I think a size 12. Yeah. A size 12 on the bolo rod. So hopefully today's a little bit different, a little bit successful. Hopefully we make our 20 silver, 26 silver, whatever it costs to get here. I'm trying to decide what I want to do later on. Do I want to go back over to Old Berg and do some bream fishing. I got a couple of good comments, or at least one good comment on a depth to try for float fishing bream there. We'll see. I may try that tomorrow, but wanted to at least do something different because it felt like I was getting in a rut of carping and breaming at Berg. And so far, fairly happy. I mean, that uh, that first whitefish for 9,000 experience points was more than a whole day's fishing at uh, Oldberg. Honestly, I have no idea how much that uh, fish is going to be worth from a silver perspective. Probably another whitefish here. Uh, that might be a roach. Not bad. Let's try the cockchafers. Always a weird word to say in the US. I don't think we have cockchafers here. Uh, 
Oh, maybe it'll start doodle bugs or what they're called here in the US. Just asked Uncle Google. So what I was seeing on VK was the cockchafers here and the mayfly larva there. But I can't use sandwich bait. I think that's a pretty high level skill if I remember correctly. Yeah, 80%. So we'll see. Honestly, so far, I've been pretty happy with what we've got. I was late. Couldn't decide if there was actually a fish on, and there was, and by the time I decided, it had popped off. I actually saw it come off before I was able to pull. One of the fun parts about quarry is it's so clear. You can almost see the hook hanging down a meter and a half. And one of the good parts about having the float camera is I can keep the two uh, ballistic floats in my eyes and still have the solar rod. So I'm over here, 92, 100, uh, right, by, right beside the campsite. Probably should be aiming a little bit more that way. Honestly, hadn't decided what I was going to use when I first cast everything out. And so I got some things out. Actually, I had to move rods around and hooked that uh, first whitefish before I really even got set up. I was thinking about tossing a bottom rod out. I still am. Downside is you were on this rock, so it's hard to find a spot to do anything. Gotcha. That's a whitefish. No, a grayling. Did not expect a grayling. I'll take it though. I'm tempted to try bottom fishing. I may have just messed that right up. Nope. Luckily, hadn't locked the reel in yet. Bite over on one, two right now, it looks like. Or nibble, not a bite yet. Might be a bite on two now. Well. Rod is not too far. I'm standing on top of it. Damn it. Thank you, game. Really appreciate that. Missed that fish. 
because I was evidently too far away from the rod that was right at my feet. Nice Vendus, though. <laughs> what happened there? Did I hit the tree? So far, honestly, we've been pretty happy with what we've got, especially for something I'm not as familiar with. I've cut my fair share of indices over spin fishing, but not a lot of them. Float fishing, bottom fishing, that type of thing. Another roach. I noticed some people have been pulling out pretty big vendices, and this is probably why. I was looking over on my uh, spin account because I got a 400 and something gram one spin in earlier, and there were 500 plus left and right, all on cock chafers and stonefly larvae. Now I know why. While lake trout, hey, <laughs> weekly record lake trout on that one. Tell a stick. I want to give this a try. I don't know if it's going to be any better, but let's try bottom fishing. Ooh, got lucky I got that one. Oh, it almost broke my line. One kilo lake trout. So something to be aware of. You'll get pretty decent sized lake trout here. All right, let's take that hook off. Put the, let's go with the 15 and I'll try stonefly. And 15 meter clip. Just look at that line dive as it goes down in the hole.
barely saw the float drop on this one. Looks like a Savendus, though. Yep. Probably should change the order so that my telestick is rod. Come on, flip your head. There we go. You didn't notice there. I noticed the fish was going past me, so I kind of let it and then cut the line hard left. And that does put a little bit of load on your line, but it enabled me to catch the fish. Basically, I had to flip the fish's head around. I actually want this. I'm not going to let me do it the way I want to. Okay. I want that to be rod one. I want this to be rod two. That way I've got my floats nearby each other so I can see them easier. And I honestly have no idea. I don't expect the telesticks to do much. I don't expect the bottom stick to do much. I wouldn't mind getting another bolo rod, honestly before we do this next time. There is supposed to be some sort of maintenance tonight. I don't know. They don't say server patch like they usually do, so I don't know if there's actually a patch or just some sort of restart. But there is maintenance tonight, so we'll see tomorrow if anything's changed. Nice roach. Can't tell if that's a wind blowing the float on the below or if something's got a hold of it. I think it's just the wind. Another roach. Sorry if that stomach girdle just made it onto the mic. I uh, need something or probably just too much last night that uh, has not been agreeing with me today. So hopefully I'm able to get through the episode just fine. feel better this morning than I did early morning. Another Vendus. So I'm getting Vendus's on Cockchafers. Let's go back to Stonefly Larva and see what we get.
The bait is kind of expensive. It's about one to two silver each. So I'm hoping we're making our money back. I think I spent 45 silver for the 60, about 30 cockchafers and 30 stonefly larvas. Another Vindus, not bad. Another roach. Ah, wrong button. I was late because of that. There's a bite over here on the telestick, and I picked up the wrong rod. Another roach. Seventeen fish in twenty three minutes, not not bad, especially since I've got a rod that's not really in the right place in the telestick. And then the bottom rod here, that's not the really, <laughs> that's deeper than it should be. We'll see what the night's like. I honestly don't know what to expect here. Times I've caught white fish tend to be at night. I'm hitting the wrong button. But the few white fish I've ever caught have been spin fishing. So there I just lock the reel and then cut it hard to the right. Catch the fish. Didn't do any weird right click lifting or control right click. Just reel in and cut to the right or to the left. And that looks like another roach. Yep. That might be a no nope, brooch. Almost looks like a perch for a second. I'm getting roach. I should almost use roach ground bait. I'm gonna have to think about that. I 
What did I put on there? 15, okay. Making plans live. That time I wasn't ready, so I clicked to lock the reel and right click to lift while turning. Another roach. Looks like I'm not the only one getting roaches either. Big roach. Probably a kilo plus. Yep. Nice fish. Might be too late here. I am. Do I have roach mix? I do. I have good roach mix too. Another good fish here. Nice. 1.5 kilo white fish, 10,000 experience points. Very pretty fish. And that was the most XP for a fish I've gotten. So we've already gotten over 19,000 experience points today. Definitely been good from that perspective for getting us towards bear. Because it's fish we haven't caught a whole lot of between Vendices and the whitefish. Or probably 21, 22 to 23,000 would be my guess for actual experience points so far. Gotcha. Roach. Not bad.
noticed it was the line was slack there. So I was looking to see if there was actually something on it or not. Ooh, that uh, 1.5 was a weekly record. Did not expect that for a non-trophy. Granted, it's Monday afternoon, so it's still very early in the week. Actually, I have two of them. Nice. Twenty one fish, thirty two minutes. Hopefully about to be 22 fish. Again, just move it to the side and start reeling. And you hook it. This feels like another whitefish. Maybe a roach. I think it's a whitefish. Another 1.3 kilo whitefish, another 9,000 experience points. And for me, today's going to be really hard guessing how much silver we make, because I really don't know how much these whitefish go for. So I'm just kind of flying blind. I honestly don't know if this is going to be profitable or not. We have 13 stonefly larva left. I don't necessarily want to use them up right now on a line that I don't think is going to do anything. I was thinking about switching the hella stick over, but deciding against it. Interestingly, using ground bait has just killed the roach on the bottom rod. Nice Vendus from P system there. 574 gram. I think that's going to be a uh, weekly. Depending on where he's from. He, she, they. And then nice whitefish too.
Got another weekly record, Whitefish. Let's see what we have here. I think it's a roach. It is a roach. 46.7. 25 fish, 36, 36 and a half minutes in. Again, I'll take it. I think the quarry whitefish are worth quite a bit, too. But I don't know for sure. Small Vendus. That one never even pulled the float down, it just pulled it to the side. But with how well this is going, this is going to be excited for willow fishing. Making me want a second bolo rod. What reel did I put on this? Okay. Yeah, I missed it. And there's an announcement on technical maintenance. 9 a.m. CET, I think that's Central Europe time. I don't know. Or maybe uh, Moscow time. And then 3 a.m. Eastern. That nah, was too late. It was just a weird reflection. So you might hear me kind of reeling in a little bit just to take up some of the slack so that when there's an actual bite, when I move it, it will set the hook. Ooh, didn't think I was going to get that one, but I did. Let's see what it is. Looks like a roach. Another roach. Got some more skill points. Didn't expect to catch that, so I'm kind of happy about that.
another one. Another roach. That was the first small one of the day. Well, small roach, that is. Not the first non-marker, but it's been a good day. Twenty-nine fish, forty-one and a half minutes. And then great day from an experience perspective. Another smaller fish. Another roach. It's a marker though. Marker Roach. Another marker roach. Decent marker roach, too. I gotta be getting low on mayfly larva. Or stonefly larva. If we run out, that'll probably wrap the day up. Ooh, got lucky there. Probably another roach here. Um, this might not be a roach. This is a roach. How many more do we have? Eight. We got more than I thought. Four hundred and eighty two gram roach.
skip that roach in. Ooh, barely got back to this one in time. Vendus. Marker Vendus. I think I actually locked that rod. Make sure it's on the bottom. Good roach there. Snoring dog on the couch. So I saw the bolo float go down and more than likely the bottom rod's going to stay hooked. So came over, got that nice Vendus, 220 gram Vendus there. And then we'll come back and grab the roach. Forty-eight, forty-nine minutes in. Another good fish. Thought I saw that one bouncing a little bit. Might have just been the reflections moving. So again, with the bowler rod, I like to open and close the bale after I get after I cast it. Um, the way I see it is a lot of times your clip kind of stays active if you don't open and close or close and open. I guess is the better way to put it. The bale, the, the little flippy part of this spinning reel that seems to remove the clip so you'll still have some tension even though I don't really want it because then if I pick up the bolo rod and there's tension you're going to move the float and potentially impact any bites that are already in flight. Good Vendus. I did not look at the cafe before I got started here, so we'll definitely have to run over to the cafe. Oh, 
hope you all got your towels because here's fish 42 on the day. It's a Vendus. 191 gram. It's 43. Another Vendus. That was a bottom feeder Vendus. I did go to bigger hooks at the same time I went over to using ground bait. I wonder if I went too big for roaches. Another roach. Obviously still have stonefly larvae because I was able to cast. I know I'm getting low. Honestly, I have no idea how many I have left. Probably use most of the 30 I bought. Last I looked, it was eight, so probably around three or four is my guess. But As right now, I think I only have it on the bolo rod. I think I got cockchafers on one and two. Ooh, ZYJ with a 6.7 kilo Savan on Telestick. That would have been fun. Would love one more good white fish before we wrap up. Another 9,000 experience points. Another roach. Still have cocktail for a uh, stonefly. I think that's my last one, though. So probably when we bring that uh, fish in, whatever bites it next, that's probably going to be the end of the episode. Plus, it's almost wrapping up time anyway. I would say today has been, without without even knowing silver, just from a pure experience point and entertainment value, at least for me, today has been very much worth it. I think I'm going to be surprised in a good way on the silver side, too. I just, I honestly have no idea how much the quarry whitefish are. The roaches aren't worth a whole lot. The Vendices can be some of the bigger ones we got. Or a couple of silver apiece. Probably another roach here. Lake trout, get. Roach, get. All right, let's pull this in. So 47 fish, 55 and a half minutes, not a bad day. Probably 56 minutes, really. I honestly hadn't been out here long before I caught that first white fish, and I'm glad I started recording when I did because it was a good white fish. So a lot of experience points, probably 40,000 experience points today. So definitely very much worth it from that perspective. For us today um, we are going to run right by the fish market so i'm going to look i'm just going to throw out 150 silver i honestly have no idea what we got the quarry whitefish there's 90 silver just in the three quarry whitefish 
157.5, not a bad day at all. Definitely covered the cost of the bait and the cost of coming here. I think it's 26, 27 silver just to come to quarry. So 45 for the bait and um, sorry, I was trying to read and talk at the same time and lost my train of thought. Uh, 45 for the bait, 26 to come here. So there's 60, 70 silver. So 70 silver profit for short one Vindus. I kind of want to go back, but I don't really have the time. I got to hop on a call here in a few minutes as well, too. So if if, if I was playing just for fun, I'd, per, I'd go back and get that one more Vindus. I might have gone for the rough order if I had checked this as well, too, uh, between episodes. Try and get that instead of some of the roaches I got. But overall, very good day. Very, very happy with the day from a silver and a uh, experience point view. I may actually do it again tomorrow. We'll see. But I'll take that 157 silver. So we're at 900 silver. Uh, I'm going to go see if there's any more stonefly larvae. And if they're reasonable priced quarry is expensive for everything here uh no i can only buy the 300 piece i'll have to think about that but either way i appreciate everybody watching uh hope you all enjoyed today i hope you all have good tight lines and we'll see you again tomorrow bye bye now